looks like the uh, screws were like glued to the top, maybe. Oh, Jesus. And the glue's possibly come out, and so. Is there any any screws in there? They're like fixed and fretted. But they're attached, like they're not. Are they plastic? Or yeah, they... they're attached to the base, plastic, and I think they've been glued to the top. Bit shit. So the top's come off, and then so it's just lifted out. Well, it looked like there was just a, a thread that went through, and then they just glued it to the top. Is that right? Yeah. So we've pretty much got to do the exact same thing back, but hopefully. Well, it's just on the list of things to do, really. We need to find some type of washer, I think, in order to hold it in place a little bit better. But I feel like all of those roof ends might need to be replaced at one stage. Job well done. We did it. Do I have a look? Beautiful. Um, time to head off, I think, and see something new. What happened, Segan? Cut my toe on an oyster. <laughs> First time in the ocean again. Which is oh, right through there. So not too far away, literally 10 metres. Meanwhile, I'm drinking ciders. Cheers. Unfortunately that afternoon the clouds rolled in so we traded a swim for watching Nelly's first storm. Lucky for us the storm had rolled over during the night so we enjoyed our avocado and toast knowing it was going to be a good drive. Maybe cigarettes are more expensive here in Croatia and cheaper hours for and people bring in a shitload, I don't know. But um, maybe we should have done that, maybe, I don't know. Straight away. Um, so straight away we have managed to get on the toll road, which we pay when we leave. So I think we're going to start heading towards the coast, then off the main highway. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's not outrageously expensive, but yeah. Any input? I figured when everyone was turning right, straight after we went through the border, that there was something happening. <laughs> and go figure, it's a toll road. So, uh, yeah. So a bit of an active day on the road today. We just paid our first toll for going maybe 100 meters, and it was nine. Kuna. Kuna, which I think is about two New Zealand dollars. So. 
we're going to keep off the main road because that's the stack up. Yeah, so now we're heading up to the coast and we'll see the water soon. Yay! Um, yeah. I can't find, though I've tried it for so long mm. What I need to feel alright on and on mm. There are so Many things we ought to try But none of these seem to apply To something I could rely on to Now I'm waving As I'm making my way away Cause I am not a one with this world it goes up to my skin no further no no further so we just got a real nice spot at this campsite overlooking the ocean um <sighs> we're about still in approximately there however we do feel a bit duped because she is quite expensive um, I feel like because we've come here though to see this Colosseum or arena yeah. that this is seems to be one of the only spots um, other than going wild camping but um, I think just being first time in Croatia I feel like we'll just ease into it and see how she goes but you know spending this much money ease into it the luxury spending this much money is um, yeah, not in the budget, so we won't be able to do that for long, that's for sure. Not at all. But we'll enjoy it while we have the view. And we'll just not eat for the next two months. Turn on crackers for the rest of the year. Through the sound of thunder, bleeding mine to innocence. Rest my arms in the cold summer rain. Bloodless mouth and breathing heavy. Through the northern streets we walk. Flowers grown in the shadows of the morning. Rebuilding the armory Rebuilding the armory To bottle up our souls To bottle up our souls Will you hold my hand? You hold my hand We caught the bus into Pula that next morning to see what this arena was all about. On the way we stumbled across a small market full of all sorts of bits and bobs. The Pula arena was constructed from 27 BC to 68 AD. It is the last remaining Roman amphitheatre with four side towers and all the Roman architectural orders entirely preserved. Unfortunately for us, there was a concert being set up when we got there, which made it a little underwhelming. Instead of paying to go inside with the stage crew, we decided to check out the rest of Pula.
So we've just walked around the town of Pula and now we're just chilling out um, at our camp spot, which is pretty ideal to be honest. We just went for a, a bit of a 20 minute snorkel along the, the coast as well, which was quite nice. Um, it's literally just there. I think Tegan's reading the book. There's also a little jump spot just over there as well. So the other day when we were in... When we were still on the Slovenian coast, um, I decided that it was about time that we get a mirror to please my vanities and Dylan glued some IKEA mirrors on the door and we're just about to see how they stick. Yep. The man himself. The product was called Hard as Nails and it was from Poundland. Like in the two, UK. Like a two dollar shop in the UK. So you know, she could go either way. Hard as nails, hold on. I've got the product here. Hard as nails. Coming to a store near you. God, we should be sponsored. Hard as nails, if you want to sponsor us, you know. Feel free. Um, it's obviously done the trick. Look at that. It was our last night in Pula, so we dragged out the chairs and wine so we could soak up the sun as it went down. So we've just left our campsite um, that we've been staying at for the last two nights, which was beautiful and pretty hard to leave. Still managed to get a little swim in this morning though. Um, we're heading down the coast, um, about an hour away. We don't really know. We're just going to check out a campsite and if it's nice we'll stay. And if we can afford it, how long we'll stay, I don't know. It's kind of that we're not in a rush anymore and we can just kind of chill out and go with the flow of it. Um, yeah, so we're on the move and can't wait to go for a swim tonight. Ciao. Out, my chair can go all the way back. Pretty stoked. Dylan's not because he's pretty tired. Look at me go. Abs exercises. Oh, I can't get it back up the. Working core. <sighs> One. Two. The car ride had been long and hot, so we decided to jump straight into the ocean when we got to camp. And we wanted a really good shot of the ocean, but couldn't get one quite on the edge, as some other people. But um, yeah, this is our campsite. Our chairs are just drying in the sun from that shock thunderstorm that hit us. Oh, we got some canary trees. <sighs> Nellie's quite happy in the shade. Put in a stump that Dylan's uh, made less. Uh, I'm not really sure he's done with that, but that's okay. That's okay. Meanwhile, we have all this to clean up. But I've made a line. But Tegan's pretty happy at the spot. I'm pretty happy at the spot. It's quite nice. Our little area. The ocean's there. Some good snorkeling with the jet right there. How much did this cost at night again? 
20 New Zealand each. A night. A night. So, so like 40 New Zealand between us a night, so 175 I think. Kuna. Kuna. A night. Not the cheapest, but we looked at another place and it was super crowded and real squished and... I don't yeah. know. We have like our own little backyard right now, so I'm not too worried about spending that money. And we're way closer to a better snorkeling spot. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to catch us next time as we make it to the famous Plitvis Lakes. We explore their beauty all the while wishing we could swim in them.